Hi, uh, this is Johnny Kaka at uh, IT99 Plus, and I'll be your instructor in this series uh, on HTTP uh, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. To start, uh, we look at this diagram, uh, and this is a diagram of the web uh, and, and the internet. The internet is a massive distributed client server system as evident in this diagram. Many applications today are running concurrently over the web, and I'm saying many, I'm talking millions. Many of them are browsing, are, are, are used for browsing, surfing, email, file transfer, audio and video streaming, and so on. Now, in order for proper communication to take uh, place between uh, the client and the server, this application must agree on a specific application level protocol such as HTTP. There are others as well like FTP, SMTP, POP uh, or POP and, uh, and etc. But we in this course will be mainly focusing on HTTP and without HTTP this uh, communication between millions of uh, computers on the internet will almost be very difficult or impossible. Uh, hypertext uh, transfer protocol is perhaps the most popular application protocol used on the internet or on the web. An HTTP client always uh, or initiate the communication uh, between the client and the server. So it's always uh, the client, the web browser, type a URL and hit enter. At this moment, the browser will uh, send a request message to the server. So the server is sitting listening on on port 80 for instance and uh, on receiving a message uh, then uh, the server will uh, will react to this uh, request and send back a response message to the client in general uh, a request message is always a request for resources we shall be talking about resources in later uh, videos uh, in this series the browser which is uh, the client uh, always initiate the, the communication with the server. You can say HTTP is a pull protocol. Uh, pull protocol meaning the client pulls information from the server uh, instead of the server pushing information down to the client. So it's always uh, the client who is asking the server to give to send him uh, uh, resources rather than the server sending resources uh, on its own. Now, HTTP also is a stateless protocol. In other words, uh, the current request does not know what has been done in the previous request. So as they, do, they are totally independent. Uh, also, HTTP permits negotiating of data type and presentation. This is very important. Uh, we will be covering negotiating data type in, uh, in this series. And this is so as to allow system to be built independently of the data being transferred. HTTP uh, is defined under uh, RFC 2616 uh, in W3C and that was uh, RFC 2616 was published in June 1999 and HTTP was coordinated by IETF, Internet Engineering Task Force and W3C which is the World Wide Web Consortium. I'd like to uh, go over this again. Hypertext transfer protocol is the most popular application protocol used on the uh, used in the internet or on the web. It's an application protocol, so it's on the application layer in the seven uh, layered model. Uh, so don't uh, worry about it if you, you don't understand what I mean by application pro protocol at this stage. HTTP is asymmetric uh, request response client server protocol and HTTP client always initiate the communication with the server by sending a request message. So it triggers, uh, it triggers, it triggers uh, uh, the communication to the HTTP server. The server in turn returns a response message. In other words, HTTP is a pull protocol. The client always pulls information from the server instead of the server pushing information down to the client. HTTP is stateless protocol, so in other words, the current request does not know what has been done in the previous request. 
HTTP permit negotiation of data type and representation. This is very important. We'll be talking about this later in, in this series. And here when we see data type, for instance, uh, is it PDF, binary, uh, text file, and so on. Uh, movies, uh, uh, streaming uh, movies uh, and, and, and media and all that. This should uh, conclude this uh, first uh, clip. We have a lot to cover. So please join me on the next video where we'll be uh, speaking about uh, URL, uh, URN, uh, URI and resources.